Dr. David Kimbrough, and Dr. Randall Hughes work to unlock the secrets of the inner tidal zone, where the land meets the sea. Scientists spend years learning how to do good science, but how many of them actually know how to talk about it to science civilians? Uh. This July, WFSU Sci Girls headed down to the FSU Coastal and Marine Lab to spend a day with Dr. Randall Hughes. Inside the cage, they were there to learn a little about the coastal ecosystems that she and David study. But there was another agenda. We wanted to give them a shot at understanding that not only were they going to do some science when they came to the lab, but they were also going to try and talk about what it was they were doing and, and how difficult that can be sometimes. Scientists need to not only learn how to conduct really important science, but I got to figure out how to make you guys, the general audience, aware of what we're doing and why it's important. The experiment was simple. So you'll count how many you see on the Spartina and how many you see on the Juncus. The next part wasn't so simple. They had to explain what they did. There are these snails, and we're seeing which ones are on the ground, which ones climb on the cages, and which ones are on either the Spartina or the Juncus. Juncus, which is a taller, uh, like, rounder type of plant, or the Spartus, which is a little green one that looks a little more like grass. They like to climb on the walls, but when they did climb on a plant, it was mostly the needle rush. We noticed that there weren't that many on the jungus. They weren't really on the plants that much. Yeah, it varied. It kind of varied, but mainly on the when, if there was a predator in there, there was a few on the plant. The girls did a good job for Media Newbies. On our next video, things get a little messier. In the Grass on the Reef is funded by the National Science Foundation.